four dimension of fasting. Four dimension of fasting. That people in the Bible, the they, they key to it. And we see them practicing it. And we see the results that these people achieve through this dimension. But the first kind of fasting is called the intermediated fasting. That means you spend some hours without food. But you will see it during the day. Some people do this. I mean, they do it by six to six. Six in the morning, and they fast at six in the evening. And they break that fast, intermediate fasting. And they break that fast. So they, they can go from six in the morning to 12 noon or 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. or 4. They miss their breakfast and then they manage to take their lunch. That is intermediate fasting. You understand? And that fasting is, is somewhat powerful as well as you do that. And there's a lot of uh, spiritual benefits and physical benefits to the body. Are we, are we together? Yes. Yes, to, uh, to the body. This fasting works so much for the body. The calories in your body, it burns every calories away. We say, all this we consume, we consume, we consume. Sometimes it, 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 it don't help the spiritual man, your inner man. So you need to burn some calories away. In fact, doctors will even tell you to go to go fasting. Doctors that will tell you, you just have to keep it from food for some time. But not even a prayer. I mean, just to regulate your health system. You have to go for some type of fasting and pray. So this fasting is very, very important. It adds more benefits into our life. If you read the book of Luke chapter 18, that's where there was a man that went into the temple to pray. We all know it, the Pharisee and the publican. He went to the temple to pray and he did his fasting qualification. Hey, you see, Jesus was not pleased about what this man did because, you know, he was boasting that he was fasting twice a week. God does not want us to boast. Some people, when they have fasted for five days, you see them boasting, I am not your mate, I am not your mate spiritually. You see them boasting, I fast for five days, I fast for 20 days. No, we should not be boasting uh, spiritually and say, I am not your mate, okay? I fast five times in a day, okay? And how often do you fast? You see, this man fasted twice and he was boasting that he fasted twice in a day, you know? As I learned about what this man said, you see, in his fasting, he said, I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I possess. Now, look at what this man said. He said he fasted twice a week. When I read the uh, easy transaction, uh, it's the, 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 the transaction said that, he fasts two days in the week. That is another fashion. Easy transaction. They say he fasts two days in the week. So what this man is actually saying is that he fasts a day and eats at night. Do you understand? He fasts in the day. He didn't take food. He didn't take water. But this man eats at night. He said he fasts twice a day. Because when even a man is having a 24 hours fast, the Bible will say he fasted day and night. Are we together? Yes. He will say he fasted day, that is 24 hours fasting. Okay, he fasted in the morning, he carried on again in the night. But he fasted twice a day, not day and night. Now, that means that he fasted day in the morning, then in the evening, he break. That is a day fasting. So he fasted day and night. That is 24 hours fasting. 24 hours fasting. The Bible say he fasted day and night. We Are we together? Yes. When the Bible says he fasted day, it means that this man 
Drake is back in the evening. That is it. Drake by 3 p.m., by 4, by 4, and all that, and all that. And he's going to have spiritual benefits. Okay? You, you can try it as ministers. If, if a Pharisee can fast twice a week, a Pharisee, a preacher, okay, a leader, he fast twice a week. Now, I began to ask myself, Jesus said, except your righteousness shall go beyond the righteousness of the stripe and Pharisees. I was sitting there in silence, my spirit. And my own righteousness of fasting will not even go beyond this man fasting. I say we, as ministers of the gospel, we have a particular day we normally fast to renew our strength, to renew our power, to renew our energy. John Wesley fasted twice a week. If you, if you go look it out, you will see it there. Most of these men of God, they have days of fasting. They call it the day of power. They also fasting. And if we are ministers of the gospel, and we don't have a particular day we normally fast. Such minister will wipe, we be, we burn out in ministry. Such minister will not last in ministry. Such ministry will collapse in ministry. Because the work of ministry, Paul say I die daily. And Paul say I fast often. If, if the, our, our calling as minister is a, is a calling of fasting, even the prayer meeting and prayer requests we are doing in this prayer online, I don't know how some ministers can do it. Maybe you don't see it, you come, you come and you come and you come and meet the people. Let's go work that way. Fasting. You are trying to, especially when you come about deliverance. I don't, I've never seen any deliverance minister that is, 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 is on deliverance ministry and is not packing it up with fasting. Let's take it or leave it. Very soon, that deliverance minister, in fact, he, he, something will be happening to him spiritually. Because you are coming out to break every fetters. You are coming to decree and to declare. You are coming to break every yoke. You are coming to break every body. And you are commanding. And you are praying. He takes fasting. He takes fasting. He takes fasting. So we should understand for, for us to keep our spiritual thermometer. For us, to speak, uh, for us to keep our spiritual dimension, like men and brethren, we must understand how this thing works in God's kingdom. We must understand how it works in the kingdom of God. And sometimes in Bagada on Tuesday after an leadership meeting, you see the GS with, 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 with a bottle of water. The security, right where he was sitting in the altar, the security, man, the security will now brought the water bottle by the GS side. And sometimes with, with GS finished ministry, he, he will put the water inside the uh, tumbler. He will not drink the water. He, he does it. We all sit in, in Zagada. He, 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 he takes a lot of water. He drink water. And I, I'm still coming to that fasting, that fasting area. He took a lot of water when he's, when, when he's having program. You understand? So let's try as ministers of God. Some of the challenges we are going through. If we had this practice on our, our schedule, all those problems will be left. There is power in it. A minister that is not observing this. Ah, so there we, we, that ministry we have a lot of challenges in in administration because it's a, it's a spiritual war. This this is this is a spiritual war. It's a spiritual war. It's not it does the uh, normal this thing. I pray may God give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. The, the second kind of fasting I call. Daniel fast. Daniel fast. This is where you spend days without food and you are not eating any food. You are just relying on fruits. This is a type of fasting Daniel did. The first time Daniel did this for 10 days, 10 days. You know, if, if you are very close with your Bible, you will discover in Daniel chapter 1, verse 10 to 12. Well, the first thing Daniel did this about fasting for 10 days without food. He was he, he was he was he was living with, with fruits and water. First, vegetable and water. He said, Don't give us pleasant food. The very first thing Daniel did, and Daniel did this for good 10 days. In Daniel chapter 1, from verse 10 to 12, in verse 12, we see there Daniel, Daniel said, Prove thy servant, I beseech thee, 10 days, and let them give us first to eat 
not not pleasant food, not the food is not rich. This is fruit for us to eat and water to drink. The Bible said Daniel to they they, they, should, they should take them for good ten days. And Daniel look more fresher. Daniel look more presentable. The Bible says something that shocked me. He said, and Daniel had favor, and God gave him understanding Amen. in all dreams and visions. So you can see that this dimension of fasting brought Daniel into a dimension of favor. He brought Daniel into a dimension of favor. And then this, this fasting, Daniel did it for good 10 days. No food. Mm -hmm. Okay, he was not taking water and vegetables. He didn't eat pleasant food. This is what he called Daniel fast. Ten days. Do your research very well. And so if you read your Bible, use other transactions, use or use other version to compare, to compare, to compare. You will discover you will now have the real meaning of what he said. That he eat no pleasant food. He takes no force. He was just eating fruit and water. But who ten days? So they brought him out and say, Who oh, in fact, he, that, that that fasting for 10 days he purified Daniel's system, and God now brought him to a great dimension. In that, in fact, if you read from that uh, chapter one, chapter one from 10 to 10, you see that if you read that, you, you will discover that all the vision and revelation and any and uh, any challenge in the kingdom that they had understanding in dreams because if you if you watch that after, after that 10 days in chapter one then they began to have wisdom then they began to interpret dreams then they began to have understanding and god bring that name to a dimension of level of skill pastors there are a lot of things that fasting accomplish in our life as ministers of god and there's a lot of blessing are we pastors? We will receive, we will have as ministers of God if we can be able. To. And the, the other time again, Daniel fast for 21 days. 21 days again. For good three weeks. The Bible says he eats not pleasant food. That means that he, he did not eat food that is well rich. No. He was taking water for 21 days. And the very first day he started praying that 21 days when he was when he decided to pray. The angel of God, God says, go and give the blessing. Look at that. Immediately, God says, go and give the blessing. And he was there for, for, for good three full weeks. He was praying and praying and praying and praying. And he did not even um, anoint himself for good for three weeks. That is the power of fasting. And then we saw the result. The angel said, oh, great beloved. They call him great beloved. Great beloved. Because of the strength and stamina. I want to ask you a question. When last have you fasted, pastors? When last have you fasted, pastors in our platform? When last? When you have a program on Monday, or men's, men's, men's program, you fast, you wait upon the law. This program we are having is like a crusade if you don't slow. People come with problems, you try to break yoke. People come with problem, pray for me. My son has this, pray for me. This one said he wants to deliver, pray for me. And ad admission, pray for me. It's a prayer of uh, breaking yokes and setting the campus free. May God give us understanding. Amen. May God give us understanding. So this is our, this is our fasting goal. You, you can go for three days fasting, five days fasting, even seven days fasting. And then it will be to one day. I pray that may God help us. Now, this is a another type of fasting. I call this water fasting. You are just on water for 40 days. This is the type of fasting that Apple, you may be you may you may be surprised. Make your research very well that Jesus fast for 40 days as well. You see, this type of fasting or uh, is what Jesus did. If you read Matthew chapter 4, verse 2, the Bible says Jesus fasted 40 days. 49. Notice, he did not say Jesus fasted for 40 days, but 40 days and 40 nights. Guess what? The Bible say after this fasting, Jesus was hungry. He was not asking. Praise the Lord. 
He was not fasting. The Bible said Jesus was hungry. He was not fasting. Now, Joel chapter 2, verse 15. The Bible says, you know the trumpet, call a fast. You see? You see the word, call a fast. The fasting they did there is, is uh, it was a fasting without food, but a fast with water. Now, look at what he said. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Call the people that they uh, they must not eat any food. See all the people that must all come together to worship him. Hmm. To worship the Lord. See that they must not eat any food. There was a restriction. There was no restriction to water. Because water is not food. Make your research. Come and, come and tell me. Water is not food. That is why sometimes those those people they go they go fasting for, for 21 days and all that. I mean, I also say that dry fasting is where you go without food, without water. Dry fasting. Now let me tell you about this dry fasting. This dry fasting without food, without water. Hey, don't do this if you are not dead, if you are not led. Jesus, the Bible says, and Jesus was led. So don't do it if you are not being led at all. There are people who go to eat. In fact, before 40 days, they died. The Jesus yeah. was saying some, uh, some uh, was saying when he was preaching about the ultimate people. Some in Bagdad many years ago. He said people that went for dry fasting, no food, no water. So after that, as he came back home, the the, the, the man, the woman just used to officer just to him, push the husband. The man collapsed, the man died. Just died. So you should be very careful. Don't fast to damage your health. That you are you looking for power. 40 days, 40 nights. Moses did it. My, my friend, when Moses was right with God face to face, the cloud, the cloud himself, eh, he this the, the says in the life of Moses, he didn't feel anything at all. He didn't feel it did at all. When you meet God, one on one, the voice of God in that cloud over there, that man sign over there, that God was communicating with Moses, one on one, the thunder, the fire, all the city, and 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 and, and then he saw the back of God. Ah, he that, that is divine, in, divine, um, in, divine, and uh, all that 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 Moses had with God, and that is why Moses did not feel it at all for forty days. My hey, brother, no man can try this without water. I, I'm telling you, nobody can try this 40 days without water. The person will go. 40 days, no water. No water. Ah. And no water, no food. Ah. The person will, he will go. Because uh, if the people that go this 40 days fasting, Moses did it. Elijah also did it. 40 days, 40 nights. And if you come to, apart from two of them and Jesus, apart from two of them and Jesus, Ruth, uh, Esther, go for three days. Three days. No food, no water. And then we, we see we saw the result as well. Um, so if you fast the dry fasting, the normal fasting, Daniel fasting, the same result somebody have when you go for 40 days is the same result they will still have. What God did is your faith, your faith will boost it. Well, I'm, I'm sending all this to you for you to acquire knowledge so that for, for you to be equipped because as uh as we are praying together and uh, looking up together it's very very important that we develop our spiritual strength at all you know that in matthew chapter uh, matthew chapter 17 uh, when the uh, when they were came to the multitude they came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying lord have mercy have, have mercy on me for he is uh, and uh, so verse for often he fell in, into the fire and often the water and i brought him to the disciples they could not cure him then jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation how long shall i be with you how long shall i suffer you bring him thither to me and jesus rebuked the devil and he departed out of him and the child was cured from that challenge at that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? What a question. I love the, these disciples. 
why could we not cast him out? You pray for people, mm -hmm. I command you, headache, come out, the headache refused to go. Why can we not cast that headache out? And how big, Jesus now said, how big it, this kind, go out for by prayer and fasting. There are some challenges that will not do. There are some paths that will not lead, but by prayer and fasting. Jesus said they went to a country for a program. When he got here, he saw that people were going for, for food and all that. He said, hey, he just take time. You see, because, because he was in a crusade field. He was in, so, in, in another country. He said, you have to wait upon the Lord. He said, if you are eating, at the time they are eating. He said, in the evening time, you don't have any, any, any result. And all this, this is the years, you see, years go water fasting. Oh, yes, you can see him. Always, always with water. Go with water fasting. Always taking water. And if you cannot be ministering for global crusade, you are eating and eating and eating and eating. I mean, these are spiritual work. And we, that we are serving the Lord, we should have understanding. We should set a day, a week, personal development. To develop. And the moment you fast, the moment your, your flesh is crucified, the moment you, you, you make your spiritual antenna will be connected, and the more you hear the voice of God, and the more God will be showing you dreams and revelation, what is happening in your ministry, what is, what is about to happen, and the more God will, God will be, you will be having a lot of knowledge. You, we should develop, we should develop. So, uh, you see, people are not fasting, their flesh speak. Any small thing, they are angry. Any small thing, the flesh speak because the flesh is not yet crucified. The flesh is dominating the spirit, man. May God give us understanding. Let's go to God in prayer. Commit yourself to the hands of the Lord. Oh God, renew my fasting life. I'm going to need this prayer meeting as ministers, not the kind of prayer we have been praying. Ministers' prayer now. We are going, we are going to pray. This is pastor's prayer meeting. And the pastor's prayer meeting should be different from the kind of prayer we are praying. We come to equip ourselves as pastors. We come so that we have we have knowledge to our knowledge. We come so that we move from grace to grace, from part of part, so that we can be minister with 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 a with a dimension of power and revelation. But let you pray, oh God, with you my fasting life. Pray. Emote yourself and pray. I I like you where you are praying. I want to hear your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus. Call upon the Lord. Thank you for this message. Lord, Lord Almighty. Lord, I we strengthen your, 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 your spiritual life. Start the year with God. We, we in deeper life may not be practicing that. If they want this, lengthen this, and all that. But other ministries do that. Don't blame them. Don't blame them. They are doing it to, to, to strengthen their inner mind and to prepare for the year. For the year. And sometimes those people that those people that, that, that did that, they go through the 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 normal fasting without food, without pleasant food, and with water. And then they break by three, they break by four, they break by five. 
it's, it's, it's still important for them. But when I tell you something, you are ministers. Because you must, you should have a particular day that you normally wait up on the door during the week. That is commitment. And if you don't have that schedule, that roster, the flesh will be the flesh will be speaking loud. Any small thing, the flesh will want to react. Because the flesh is not communicating your spirit. And that is why we see some ministers they, they, they argue the fights. Because the flesh is not dominating. They are no more in the spirit at all. The flesh are taking over their ministry. And that is why you are going to pray. This flesh must die. The moment you fight, you are killing the cell of the flesh. The flesh is subdued. The spirit is coming alive. And God, there is a lot of benefit, my brethren. Benefit in it. Your spirit must come alive. Your eyes, your, your eyes sharp. You can see like the eagle. And the Lord began to give you wisdom and understanding. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor Sheikh, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity you give to me to minister to my fellow pastor. So over to you, Pastor Shego. Is the pastor not here? Okay, if, if, if the pastor is not around, can pastor want to take over? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we shall read from the book of Exodus chapter 24, verse 3. And the, the Bible said, Then Moses came and recounted to the people all the word of the Lord and all the ordinances. And all the people answered with one voice and said, all the world which the Lord has spoken, we will do. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father. You have renewed our strength. You have renewed our dream. You have renewed our call. You have spoke to all afresh. Father, we call upon the name of the Lord that all what you have said, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will obey. Peter Amen. said, where shall we uh, go to? When Jesus Jesus said, you have had this, this hard thing. Are you want to go to? Peter said, no. Where shall we go to? Because we have not the truth. We have not the word. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Spirit of obedience, Father, give to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, the spirit of obedience, the spirit of doing your will, the, will, the spirit of going with you, the, the spirit of walking with you, Father, give to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Almighty Father, help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your grace be let your grace be sufficient for us. Let your grace be sufficient for us. Let your grace be sufficient for us. Let every one of us we know the power of fasting. We know how it is. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Your grace will be sufficient for me. We be transitioned for me in the ministry. Able to fast, to the able that I will we're able to recollect. Are we able to hear you? Let's call upon the name of the Lord. 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 The Almighty Father, what shall be the benefit of hearing this kind of messages, of this of hearing this kind of messages, of hearing this kind of ministerial renewal message? And at the long run, it go it go without forgiveness in my life. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, give me the give me the grace. We hope to obey. We hope to obey. The song we are ready to obey the world. That's it. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, give me the grace, give me the give me the mercy, give me the abundant grace. Able to, able to obey in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank uh, you. As we are fasting, there is a lot of us we do not have faith. Um, um, I want to refer us. Uh, we thank God that we have a father in the Lord, and then I have all of our minister that we are, that we are uh, able to help one another. Uh, and I pray the Almighty God is going to be continue to help us in Jesus' name. Uh, yes. among, uh, 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 among the things that we need to take along with our fa- with our fa- 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 faith. 
uh, do not forget that the faith whatever uh, let me remember uh, the best way I want to put it uh, uh, faith fasting and prayer all of them go together you cannot uh, strong in one of them and weak in one of them and believe that you are going to uh, to excel to excel uh, whatever faith we do uh, it will be greater than uh, uh, it will be greater than what prayer we do whatever uh, prayer we do and so and so and so on let's call upon the name of the Lord these three things they move together let's call upon the name of the Lord faith fasting and prayer the spirit of three of them Father, in my ministry, they will walk with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name. Many of us, we are, uh, yes, uh, by, by the power and the Lord of Jesus, we fast. We, I mean, we pray, we cannot fast. Uh, after this prayer, I will tell you something about some of us that we are in the United States. But let's call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. The spirit of, of prayer, the spirit of fasting, the spirit of faith. Almighty Father, they will empower me. They will empower me. They will empower me. They will empower me. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. You will empower me with the spirit of faith, with the spirit of prayer, with the spirit of passing in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Are uh, we walk in fasting? Are uh, we walk in prayer? Are uh, we walk in, in faith? Let's call upon the name of the Lord. As our Father has renewed our strength on the on the on the on the on the fasting today. Call upon the name of the Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. We we, we shall stay with the Almighty God. We shall stay with God. We shall stay with God. We as we are walking in the fasting, we walk we we walk in the Faith. As we are walking in the faith, we will walk in prayer. Let's call upon the name of the three of them. You cannot say this one you are going to neglect. You cannot say this one you are not going to do. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of as we have renew, as we have renewed our strength, as we have given those on renew on renewal of the on the renewal of, faith, of fasting. Call upon the name of the Lord, the power of prayer, the power of faith. God will give to us as we are moving on in this journey in the name of Jesus Christ, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not lack. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not lack. We will not lack any wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to do all these three things in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we, are, we, we, we continue to renew our strength. We will 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 continue to renew our strength. The grace of the Lord will be sufficient for us. The grace of the Lord will be conserved for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that the, all the power that goes with fasting. As our Father has taught us, all the, all the power that goes with fasting. As we are fasting by, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will give to us in Jesus' name. You know, as, as we are told, now, immediately you are fasting, your body surrender. Then you don't have the strength to even argue. You don't have the strength to even say a lot of or a lot of. Uh, I want to say I don't want to say nonsense. You don't have to say it to to even be ah. Uh, your body is naturally weak. Your body naturally weak, and this that one give you a uh, 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 another step to ever to able to receive. To able to hear, to able to hear the word of the, hear the word of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the in the blood of Jesus Christ, all the attributes of fasting, all the gifts that follow fasting, that by the power in the blood of Jesus, God will give to every one of us in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, we are told about Daniel. That after fasting, they receive. We are told about Esther. That after after fasting, they receive. 
many, many people like that, sometimes they fall and they, there's nothing. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all the gifts, all the grace, all things that follow, all the opportunity, uh, all the all the blessing. Yes, in Christendom. Let me use the word. All the blessing that follow fasting. As we are fasting, we are by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. God is going to honor us with it in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are fasting, as we are as we are losing our heart, it will be losing heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are losing heaven, it will be lost our heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. The gift of revelation, the gift of caring from the Lord, the gift of talking to the Lord directly, the, the gift of hearing to the Lord directly, by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. God will give to you, will give to me in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we are fasting all these gifts, we will be expanded in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be expanded in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be expanded in our life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And be careful uh, not to uh, to let, because I know by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, every one of us, we have had what our daddy taught us. And I'm be careful to a little bit divert from it. But I want us to remember some people, and I, I'm very sorry, Pastor Lee, we, we forgive me if we are a little divert from this area. Some people, they are under medication. God will be with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They want to do, but they cannot go extra mile than that. If we pray, as God see their heart, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God, will, God says we use them the way you want to use them in. I don't know how to put that prayer more than that because I don't want uh, our mind to divide for very beautiful message our, our leaders have delivered. So let's call upon the name of the Lord that for those people who are on that, that, that kind of situation, Almighty God will be with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God will answer our, uh, their prayer to in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, they, they want to do it, but there's a challenge. There's a challenge. Maybe because of the attitude, Maybe because of on one issue or the other, let's call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, by the power and the power of Jesus Christ. For many people that understand one, maybe one medication or the other, or something like that, and that it will affect them and go beyond the limit. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father is going to help them in the name of Jesus Christ. The, God, the, God, the Almighty God will continue to be with them in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let's pray for our leader that have led us today. As our leader, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will continue to renew his strength. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Lord, both online and his church, in any area as a prayer, wherever he finds himself, God will continue to use him mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth, let's pray for him, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, his labor of law will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. That his labor of law will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. That God will continue to be with him. That more than his expectation, God will use him mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. That more than his dream, God will use him mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. That more than where he thought that God will, will not use him, God will use him more than that in the name of Jesus Christ. God will, uh, uh, God will. Enlarge his coast. Let's pray for our Father, our Father, our leader. But God will enlarge his coast. Almighty God will enlarge his coast. King of kings will enlarge his coast. Almighty God will enlarge his coast. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. More I know thee upon him in the name of Jesus Christ. More grace upon him in the name of Jesus Christ. No blessing upon him in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, which reward will continue to be abound in the name of Jesus Christ. In heaven, his reward will continue to increase in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty is there, will continue to bless him in the name of Jesus Christ. He will receive the favor of man. He will receive the favor of God. Wherever he go, he will receive the favor of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever he lays his hand upon, that be Almighty Father. Father, we shall be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ, and the grace of the Lord will be upon him. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Over to you, Sir Pastor Shegun. Hello, sir. I think it's not online. Pastor Ali, you can round up for us, sir. Thank you, sir. It's okay. 
uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for the challenge our leader have challenged us. Prayer, faith, and then it take us that way with, with the fasting. These three ingredients, we pray that you will increase upon our life. As we Amen. Amen. faith, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We pray, we pray that whatever challenge any of us will be having in this prayer conference as ministers, we are asking, we are praying, God, you will stretch forth your hand. You will take all those challenges away from our life. We pray by the reason of the anointing. We pray if anyone afflicted among us as ministers, anyone going through challenge physically as ministers, the Bible says God sent out his word and he let them and delivered bad days from their oppression. I pray tonight, oh God, any of us online that have having some medical challenges, let your healing power come upon their life in Jesus' name. Amen. We, we pray that all our pastors who are not on the meeting today, we pray you will strengthen them, we pray you will help them, we pray you will uphold them, we pray you will bless them. We pray that as we are preparing for the ending of year Thanksgiving, we pray that you will so unite us together to give all the glory to you. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace together, sir. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and blessings are full of us for the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Uh, please let us keep our date with Pastor Omarewa. Uh, it will be 12 o'clock in America time and then 6 o'clock Nigeria time. 12 o'clock America time, 6 o'clock. If in case, uh, please, I'm just, I'm not trying to, to be, I mean, to, do, to let you know, uh, maybe something like that. I've not slept since yesterday. And this is for, in case I sleep. Anybody can write this number down. 434-973-2109. 434-973-2109. When you call that number, all the phone in the house will, will ring. The other one is my private number, but this one is house number. And then we have about five, I'm very sorry, we have about five phones inside the house. So by the time you guide this one, Everybody will wake up. So, uh, so thank you very much, sir. Thank you. The joy that Lord will continue to be our strength, sir. Amen. Thank you, too. Bless you. Thank you, sir. Have you shared the grace? I think we have shared the grace. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Somebody was calling me. Okay. <laughs> thank you. God bless you, man. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you. 